video is about graphing quadratics from intercept form. So when you graph a quadratic function, it's still going to make a U shape called a parabola on the graph. This is one form of a quadratic function called the intercept form. It's y equals a and then parentheses x minus a constant and another parentheses x minus a constant. So if it's given to you in this form, we still have this a value, which is telling us about whether the u, the parabola, opens upward or downward. If there is no number in front of the parentheses, that means a is 1, which is a positive value, and it tells us that our parabola is going to be opening upward. The other two things that we're given here, the p and the q value, are the coordinates of the x-intercepts of this graph. Now picture a u on the coordinate plane. It's going, it's most likely going to cross the x-axis at two places because the coordinate plane, picture it as something like this. So if it crosses it once over here, it usually it's going to cross it again over there. There are some cases where the entire parabola will be above the x-axis or below the x-axis and not cross the x-axis. But for the most part, it crosses it twice, and that's the two values that were given here. It's the opposite of the two numbers that you're looking at. So our p-value is going to be positive 1, and our q-value is going to be negative 3. And so the two coordinates of the x-intercepts are 1, 0, and negative 3, 0. And that's going to help us a lot when graphing, because we'll already have two points that are on the curve. So for this one, we have an a-value of negative 1 half, which tells us that our parabola will be opening downward. And I have the x-intercepts that are located at negative 1, 0 and negative 2, 0. So if we're asked to graph the quadratic function, this time it wants us to show at least three points, including the vertex. We haven't yet figured out how do we get the vertex from this form. Now you could always distribute and turn it into standard form and then use the vertex formula. I think that's the long way to do it. The faster way to do it is to acknowledge that if you have a point located at negative 3, 0, and a point located at 1, 0, as you do on this graph, and I can plot those. Here's one intercept, here's another one. The vertex is going to exist halfway between those two points, somewhere up or down. So if we're looking for an uh, x-coordinate that is halfway between those two points, you can't do it mentally. You can always take the average of these two x values. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2, divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 is the x-coordinate of the vertex. It's halfway between the two x-coordinates of the intercepts. Then we'll take our negative 1, substitute it into the function, and find the y value that corresponds with it. 2 times 2 times negative 2. And then I'm going to find the point, which is my vertex, negative 1, negative 8, 1, 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, a little bit off my graph. And it only asks for three points here, so I'm ready to connect the dots. So I need to make it a nice, smooth curve, very long and skinny parabola. And remember to label important points. We've got a vertex here. We have an x-intercept here, located at 1, 0. Another x-intercept. And we even cross through a y-intercept here. And I haven't calculated it yet, but it's very easy to calculate. So I'm going to calculate the y-intercept by plugging in 0 for x. Change colors for this calculation. By plugging in 0 for x, I see that the y-value, the corresponding y-value is negative 6. So really I should have crossed the y-axis right here. It's pretty close. I'm going to label that point as well. And you may also be asked to label your axis of symmetry. So I would like to draw that on here. Goes right through the vertex, and I label it x equals negative 1, the coordinate, x coordinate of the vertex. Complete the analysis. We have a concavity opening upward, so this is a concave up. Coordinates of the vertex were negative 1, negative 8. Equation of the axis of symmetry. Coordinate of the y intercept. Were all calculated on the previous slide. Coordinate of the point symmetrical to the y intercept. So if the axis of symmetry is located at negative 1, the y intercept is at 0. We want to cross over the axis of symmetry the other way and get negative 2. Remember that it will have the same y value as the y intercept. And we're going to write this function in standard form by distributing in our parentheses x 
squared plus 2x minus 3. Distribute the 2. And there it is in standard form. Same function in standard form. And that is all.